Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of Dragon Warrior 4 from the Nintendo Entertainment System. It's time for Cosmo to finish exploring the Zenithian Castle. He reached it last time and just got a few of the treasures in there and then he hopped back to the wall uh, map to get the final uh, Hat of Happiness for Nara. So now we're going to head back to the Zenithian Castle. Luckily we can just uh, warp there with the return spell and we're going to finish talking with all the people there. We're also going to take Lucia in our party because if you have her in your party when you go to the Zenithian Castle, you get this other saint scene. Thanks to you, I'm back in Zenithian Castle. I have to let everyone know I'm back. Thank you. And then she leaves. Uh, and we'll find her a little bit later uh, on our way out of the castle. And if we talk with her then, she will uh, give us a, uh, her replacement, uh, this dragon monster. I used sometimes hope something horribly evil is coming to life on Earth. Mm -hmm. Well, it's already alive. It's Necrosaro. And here we're going to see the dancing elves, and we saw these dancing elves in Chapter 2. There's Lita and her sister. Humans, Lita, don't talk to them. I won't, sister. They were the elves who were at the top of uh, the ne uh, the Birdsong Nectar Tower in Chapter 2. Then Alina went to get... Uh, the uh, nectar so that she can restore her father's voice. Yeah, so Alina, uh, Bray, and Christo, they uh, saw the Nethians before any of us. And we're going to head up here, and there is Master Dragon. He was our ruler, Master Dragon. I see Cosmo is a hero, a descendant, and humans in Nethian. It appears that Master Cosmo, Master Dragon has always cared about Cosmo. I am Master Dragon, I rule this castle. I oversee the world from this place. I already know what right you know. Unfortunately, even I cannot stop Necrosaur's ultimate evolution. And I'm not as omnipotent as you think. By the way, humans are curious creatures. Inherently weak, humans can do miraculous things at times. I place my hope in you, Cosmo, the hero, as an Ethian and human descendant. You might be able to defeat the ultimate form of evil. He gives us this gift, 5,000 experience, and he unlocks the power of the Zenithian sword. So we're going to have Taloon uh, reappraise it. So the Nethian sword starts to glow fiercely. Cosmo, now go. Beneath this castle is the entrance to the world of evil. And that Zenithian sword will be a tremendous help to you. So yeah, we give the um, Zenithian sword to Taloon. And uh, he will, uh, you can have him, ha have him uh, reappraise it. And he'll say something different here, so. Praise. To Luna Praise, you know, look at it glow. This sword is something after all. Furthermore, I think this will produce some special effect when used in, as an item in battle. So, there we go. That uh, sword now is uh, most much more powerful. I think it has like a. Uh, uh, what will we go from 203 attack to, let's see, what we go to? 253. So we get another 50 attack points on this Nikian sword. So, not bad. The folks are saying the same thing. Master Dragon has always cared about them. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna go back. I forgot to talk with uh, Master Dragon again. Let's see what he has to say. If he's, if he's anything different. Uh, Cosmo, go now. Nope, he tells us the same thing. So. Alrighty. Let's head on down. Then we're going to explore the right side of the castle. Just open up that door there just because uh, obsessive compulsive there. to uh, talk with some of these uh, folks, they're going to give us some uh, plot. You can't read any of these books, can you? Ask those two to read them for you. Okay. Do you wish to read this book? Very well, perhaps later. That's what I say if we say no, but we're going to tell them both yes. The history of Battleham. A long ago, Estuk, the ruler of evil, created a terrible thing called the Secret Evolution. Estuk used it to evolve into a super being. Upon discovering this, the Nethians joined by Master Dragon and fought against Esther. After a long battle, Estuk was imprisoned in ground. Do not wake him. Do not go near him, says this book. Later it was found the Estuk's secret evolution is imperfect. It didn't incorporate the golden bracelet, which, um, impa which uh, increases evil. So a secret evolution is the method to distort the natural evolutionary process. Through the use of this method, unnatural beings may be created. The secret evolution is the source of all evil things. It must not be handed down to future generations. Bury it deep underground, says the book. But, do but ages later, it was rediscovered. Now we know Necrosaur has that bracelet because uh, those kidnappers gave it to him uh, in Chapter 2. 
Ooh, we're about to get some uh, something new here. We'll get that replacement dragon over there on the on the left. It's you. Thanks to you, I can take care of these children. My words to you, my appreciation. Come here, Doran. Take Doran with you. He'll be a good help. Doran joined the party, and he does not uh, breath attacks. So he can use like a sweet breath to put enemies asleep. He can hit hard. Uh, he can use a fire breath, a blizzard breath. So he's kind of like a mage without uh, a mage without like magic points. So if people just say the same thing that we, they said earlier, and we were told that the uh, entrance to the underworld is beneath the castle, so we just fall down this hole and we end up here. Uh, in front of this uh, cave that we couldn't get to earlier. And this is the... It's called the final cave, but uh, it's not going to be the final dungeon. There's a few other... There's a few more places we have to go after this. But this is going to take us into the uh, underworld where Sorrow is currently uh, perfecting the secret of evolution. So I'll put Dorn in so we can kind of see what he does. Like I said, he's kind of like a... A very tanky mage uh, who can only cast like blizzard fire and uh, sleep spells. Speaking of tanky, we got these ogre bashers. They have uh, a lot of hit points here. They're like a reskin of uh, the second uh, Balzac that we fought in uh, Santine Castle. So, uh, speaking of the Zenithian sword, there was that. Uh, it says it uses a special thing in, in, in battle. It casts Disruptive Rave, which basically takes off all the buffs uh, off of uh, an enemy. So it's similar to what the, a lot of enemies use on us. We need to have two uh, terrific blows. Now we just need to have them when she, uh, if we run into uh, the King Metals. up here. Uh, much like Zenithian Castle, we're going to do two runs uh, through this. Uh, we're going to get some of the treasure, some of the enemies, and then we're going to uh, just leave here, uh, drop some stuff off in the vault, and then come back and make the uh, final push through this cave. We could do it all in one turn, but uh, in one time because we have the wagon with us, so everybody's in our party. So we can switch uh, characters out when they like run out of MP, like Gray. We can switch out with Nara. I mean Mara. Uh, we can put uh, we get uh, Co uh, Cosmo, Christo, and uh, Mara to heal folks. Uh, but there's a kind of a split uh, area where it's a good place to kind of like split the. Uh, your exploration, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna split the exploration, and then I can uh, come back and finish the cave uh, with a bunch of stuff taken, uh, which we call it, put back in the vault, back in Endor. So here we go. We're just gonna do like a little loop around here. Uh, the first and the third are the where we're going to uh, explore. Uh, the second one is actually the way you want to go. You don't have to go to the third one because there's a way to get to the treasures uh, in the third area uh, without going to the third area, but uh, it can be a little dangerous to do it that way because if you uh, mess up uh, and you put your boat somewhere you can't get back on it, then uh, you kind of got to go backtrack all the way, so we're just going to go the, the long way to show everything off. Get another small metal there. Got some new enemies here. The fairy dragon. They have uh, some pretty nasty spells. So uh, chaos being one of them. And uh, so it's a good thing that uh, Alina has the sphere of silence there to block their uh, spells. There's a Dorn does he like emits uh, different types of breath. Seems like a lot of enemies here must be weak to Blizzard because uh, he tends to use the Blizzard Breath more than like his Fire Breath. And then he also has that Sweet Breath that puts enemies to sleep. So, here's the Fairy Dragon, one of these uh, the rocks that we saw in Zenithian Tower. We'll be showing off uh, all the characters here, they all get their little uh, spotlight here. They go th as I go through this final cave, so yeah, it's so nice that they let you have that. Like I said that uh, the wagon here. Now that one dwarf automatically summons it with the uh, Baron's horn, 
but after this, uh, in future dungeons, uh, there's a place where you have to have the bounce one yourself to get the wagon. And uh, that's basically after the final dungeon. So you go through the final dungeon, you can't take the wagon with you, uh, but then when you get out of the final dungeon, you're back on the map, and you can use the uh, horn to summon your wagon that way when you fight Nekwasaro for good. Uh, you have all your party there. Just keep wandering around. This is just like snakes around, like, uh, I think like level 7 in the second quest of The Legend of Zelda. It's kind of like a little swirly, uh, uh, little maze thing. Another tough enemy there, the Bull Basher. Hit pretty hard. I think they also pass the Blizzard spell. A lot of our guys have, like, equipment that's good against, uh, like, fire and breath, but not necessarily against Blizzard, so... But, Raze Blizzard spell coming there in handy. Like I said, it seems like a lot of the enemies must be weak against, uh, Blizzard here because, uh, or take, have less resistance to it than, uh, fire because, uh, Doran tends to use his Blizzard breath. Next stage, you don't have to pick up Door, and you can actually, if you never uh, have Lucia in your party, when you're in Denethian Castle, uh, Lucia will stay with your party instead. But like I said, I want to show everything off, so I'm going to grab Dorn. Dorn, of course, is a, you know, obviously going to be a better fighter, deal more damage, but Lucia, uh, she has the defense spell, which can lower defense, and she has the heal-all spell. Uh, both of them are pretty good, so I guess it's up for debate who you think is better. So we're gonna go, we're just gonna skip that second uh, passage where we could have taken there. And we're gonna head to the third passage here. Just to get two treasure chests that are on the outside. Uh, if we go the regular way, the right way we're supposed to go through the dungeon, we'll eventually uh, get into the middle of this room uh, where there's a ship. And then the ship takes you to the island where you have to continue onward. Uh, so you could, like I said, skip going this way uh, and get the ship and then park the ship on the shore and then. Uh, and get these treasures. There's a treasure here, but there's another treasure that's uh, blocked by uh, uh, those uh, conveyor belt tiles. So if you park your ship, uh, you know, when, and jump off onto one of them, you won't be able to get back onto your ship. So, like I said, just to be safe, uh, I'm doing it this way. Like I said, there's only like a few places where you can park your ship where you would be able to get it back at it, but. We're just going the, the safe way, so I can show off all the different routes. We have a new enemy here, the uh, Spite Spirit. Get their stats up as soon as you take care of one of them. A lot of enemies have long names here, so like it's uh, I gotta split it up into four uh, rows rather than three, so it doesn't fit all that well. So there we go. Cloak of Evasion. Not a very good uh, piece of armor for this point in the game, but it served Bray and uh, Na uh, Bray and Mara well for a while there. Uh, Mara, Nara, and Alina could also use that uh, Dress of Radiance, that extra one that we found there. But like I said, the problem with the Dress of Radiance is uh, it reflects spells back at the caster. So while it's good for like offensive spells that enemies are casting against you, uh, if you try to heal somebody with it, it's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to heal them, so you're basically be stuck healing them with like medical herbs or healing them outside of battle. So I'll just cast Step Guard here because Christo decides not to step off the swamp there. And we get the Flying Water Cloth, which was the upgraded armor from the uh, Cloak of Evasion that we end up giving to uh, Bray and uh, Bray and Nara that they're both using right now. So, that reduces, uh, breath and fire damage. So, still take damage from Swamp Tiles, though, unlike the Flying Water Cloth in Dragon Quest 2, or Dragon Warrior 2, we played. That was, like, the best, uh, armor for both the Prince of Canock and for the, uh, Princess of Moonbrook. But unless you did that one trick, you can only get one copy of it, and it usually goes better on the Princess of, uh, Moonbrook, because the Prince of Canock can use the magic armor, which reduces uh, magic and fire breath damage, so. So a few things here. Not that we need money anymore, but like I said, I like to uh, 
finish off the game and I like to max out the money stored in the vault like I did in Dragon Quest 3. Max out my tokens and stuff like that, so... Speaking of the vaults, we're gonna go here and drop off a few more things because there's a lot more treasure in uh, the uh, final cave. Luckily though, after you defeat the final cave, you end up in this uh, place like the final refuge where you can uh, kind of stay and heal, and uh, that's a return point. So, uh, we'll be able to uh, get uh, other treasures then and warp back to here, and then warp back to that final rest point. So, the game's nice like that. It doesn't force you to go through that final castle, go through the underworld, and then the final dungeon, or the final cave, then the final castle, underworld, uh, all in one go. They have a nice little place where you can save and you know, we're gonna get the final three small medals, two, two more left to go. Uh, but, drop them off of the thing. I just uh, put the wrong wizard's ring in the uh, vault there. So now all the wizards have an extra wizard's ring. We found another one, we got one from the uh, Bavak enemy that we defeated. Lucky drop there, so. That's probably like a 1 in 256 drop, because like, so usually the best items have that really rare drop rate. Right? You can always win more of them by uh, different casino, uh, by several co uh, things like a thousand casino tokens. So, but well, that'll do it for this episode. Come back in the next episode where we finish off the final cave and get into the underworld. Take care. Have a good one. See you then. Bye.